It turns out we have three emotion systems, which we call the three circles. And these are critical to how we experience day-to-day -day life. These systems are called the threat system, the drive system, and the soothing system. Let us have a closer look at each of these. First, the threat system, or as we like to call it, the red circle. This is our most powerful and dominant system. It helps us identify threats and keeps us protected. Key emotions here to help us include anger, anxiety, fear and disgust. These emotions help stimulate us into action so we can either avoid the danger or if we need to, confront it. The red circle is incredibly important for us but is often easily triggered by all sorts of things such as physical dangers like heights but also social dangers like not being invited to a party or not getting likes on Instagram. So whenever you feel anxiety, anger or fear, this is your body letting you know there is some kind of threat and it is trying to protect you. The second system is the drive system or blue circle. This system helps us pursue things that are important to our survival, like being connected with others, having food and having shelter. The blue circle also drives us for other wants as well, like wanting to be popular or the best at something, you know, or getting those new shoes or video game. So when things are going well in the blue circle and we are achieving our goals, it feels great. We can be happy and excited. Like the red circle, the blue circle is very energizing. The third system is the soothing system or green circle. This is also a positive emotion system, but with lower energy than the blue circle. The soothing system is all about those times when we feel calm, relaxed and content. These are times when we are not wanting or pursuing things. We are at ease and content with what is. So unlike the blue and red circles, this system helps slow the body down and is sometimes referred to as our rest and digest system. All of these systems are crucial at helping us to do what we need to do. Stay away from dangers, pursue things that are important to us and rest and recover so we can be at our best. Often though, due to the pressures of life, we focus too much on the red and blue circles. For example, we really want to get an A on an assignment, but we fall short and get a C. At these times, we can feel like a failure, and if our red circle is dominant, we might be really angry with ourselves and say, you idiot, what is wrong with you? And then, to make sure it doesn't happen again, we put all our energy into our blue circle and study longer and harder, sacrificing other things that we like to do, just to make sure we avoid the failure next time. And this can be a very lonely experience. This is us trapped in a red-blue circle loop. And this is not your fault. At these times, we can easily forget about our green circle. And these are the moments the green circle can be really helpful, supportive and encouraging. The green circle helps us recognize that we have still done well and validates our efforts and can even lead us to try and connect with others for extra support and help. 